Hello, darling. We were just talking about you. No kidding. Uh, the dinner with Mr. Griffin is canceled tonight. Well, I'd be more than happy to fill in for him. I hate to see two beautiful women get stood up. He said to call him at the hotel to set up a time where you can do the remote for the children's home. Okay. Julia, this is getting absurd. I agree. Go away. All right. You want my head on a platter? You want me to risk life and limb? Fine. You've got it. Mason, what are you doing? Mason, that's dangerous. That's the whole point. You get down here right this minute. Mason! I'm here right this second. How am I going to have dinner with you if you're dead? Do you mean that? I'm not going to repeat myself, sweetheart. brother is not only unfaithful, he's certifiably insane. Oh, there's an idea. Nah, even the funny farm wouldn't have him. What time should I pick you up? You jerk! Don't you ever scare me like that again. Well, you didn't give me any other choice. No, and don't you blame me for you acting like an idiot. Mason, scaring me to death isn't going to work any more than the roses, the bullhorns, or the violins. How are we going to patch things up if you keep throwing yourself at me Did like you this? Did you hear what you said? You said we could patch things up. I did not. You did, too. I did not. You did, too. Eden, she did, didn't she? You heard it. I have a witness. I am not getting into the middle of this. A week ago, you said there wasn't a prayer. You see, it's working. Slowly but surely, we are moving in the right direction. I give up. What about dinner? Maybe she's not hungry. Shabby tactics, even for you, Mason. So now you're going to turn on? That was the most generous gift I've ever received. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, well, uh, where's Eden? She won't be able to make it. That's too bad. Uh, Bobby's agreed to set up a uh, fund to match public donations. I actually have agreed to think about it. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, um, Julia, I, I think you were wrong. About what? Um... I guess the dinner wasn't canceled after all. Well, maybe after Julia spoke. No, to Julia her. just didn't want to create a scene between me and Robert. That's all. Will you excuse me for a minute, please? Even I'm sorry. I should have told you the truth. I just thought it would be easier if I... No, no, I, I completely understand. But as long as Robert lives in Santa Barbara, it's going to be impossible for me to avoid him. And Kelly. So, if Kelly is Robert's date, does that make you... Don't you Griffin? even start with me. Is there some problem? No, everything is fine. You know you're right. I mean, this wasn't a good idea. I don't want things to be any more uncomfortable than they already are. Why should we let them spoil our dinner plans? Some other time, Mason. Eden. Let her go. Is there uh, anything else about tonight going on that I should know about? Such as? Well, I, I know that you went all the way to Canada to, to bring Mr. Griffin down here. and Now you're having dinner with him. Should I have jumped off that ladder? Why don't I open up the window? There's always pistols at dawn. First of all, after the way that you treated me, I hardly owe you an explanation for what I'm doing here right now. Secondly, there is nothing going on right now. I'm sitting there having dinner with people who are trying to raise money for our children's home, and that's it. Is there a problem? No, everything's just ducky here, Mr. Griffin. I'm Mason Capwell, Julia's husband. I was just trying to convince her that I could be very helpful to you, raising money. It's very nice to meet you, Mr. Sikha. Well, perhaps if I join you now, we can discuss Mason it. Mason was just leaving, weren't you, Mason? No, in point of fact, I just got oh, here. Oh, yes, remember you told me you had that big, enormous problem that was getting worse by the minute? No, I don't remember Oh, yes, any... yes, and, and that if you didn't go handle that big, enormous problem, it would become so monumental that it would become unsolvable. Oh, that problem, yes. Good night, Mason. It was nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Don't be too late, dear. Is everything...
everything all right? I'm not sure. Everything's fine. I was hoping Eden would join us. Well, she had something that came up. Let's order. Oh, I'm sorry. Will, will you excuse me for a moment, please? People do seem to be coming and going around here, don't they? What's going on? Your husband, uh, silly. Just ignore him. He'll go away. I see. The calamari is very nice. Sweet breads are the specialty of this place, and the chef really doesn't. I already know what I'm going to order. I mean, but could you tell me? Is it uh, I that's making you so uncomfortable? Or is it your husband? My husband. Certainly not you. I see. So then I'll assume you have some reason for him not wanting to join us. We're separated. Well, he seems we're having some difficulty accepting that. Could, could, could we please talk about something else? Look, I hate to broach the subject. Must we? It, well, unless you don't want to know, but he's on his way over here right now. Would you like me to send him away? Excuse me, Mr. Garvin. Griffin. Whatever. I'd like to speak to my wife alone for a moment. No, I don't think Julia wants to speak to you. It's all right, Derek. Doesn't seem to matter what I want. I'll talk to him. I'll be back. That's reassuring. You just won't leave this alone, will you? I have one thing to say and one thing only, and then I'll leave it alone. If you're planning this to get back at me, it's childish and beneath you. Planning what? Whatever's going on here. Whatever might go on afterwards. I know how angry you are at me, but Julia, really. Do you honestly think that I would sleep with someone just to get back at you? Don't measure me by your standards, Mason. I have a great deal more respect for myself and for our, my daughter than to do something so loathsome for vengeance. I prayed you'd say that. I love you, Julia. I love you like no one else can. Remember. 